I back probed the two potentiometers on the throttle body. And watching their performance here. Turn the ignition off. Both down to zero. Watch them as they initialize. And to see that they hold their form. Do you guys notice anything missing here? Like, look, no wires. The scope is under the hood where it needs to be. I'm here working the accelerator pedal where I need to be and it's all wireless. Now you guys have seen me feature one channel over Bluetooth before, but this is two channels over Wi-Fi. How cool is that? HS402 Wi-Fi, developed by Martin Lauren, supported by his 8Scope app, and built here on the gadgets playlist. No matter if it was a question that we would need to be in a different place than the scope, or that we would like its capability in a test drive, or that simply we just want to be untethered. This is a great little performer, this scope. So let's head out in the studio where I can give you a brief overview of what's in here. So we start out by building a standard USB version of the HS402, just like it was done in gadgets number 118, so I'm not going to dwell on it. It's an option one build, so we have a one kilo ohm valuable resistor that we can adjust while we're in USB mode, it's easier. Same with the two variable capacitors, we can trim those as well while we're in USB mode. We remove the separators from the headers and softening them up with a little bit of heat from the hot air rework station that helps with that process. Also, we remove the pin here at B10. It's going to create a path for one of our traces. The idea behind removing these separators is that it's roughly the same thickness as this perforated board and the pins will protrude through this board the same amount that they were with the separators. I place a little piece of PVC tape between the STM32411 and the perforated board. Just a few short traces here, no components. You'll recall the removal of pin B10. It was to create a path for this trace. I draw your attention to how I routed these two wires here for 5 volt and ground. So we've created a hat which can now sit on top of our HS402 PCB and provide headers for our ESP32 W room board. This is the plain ESP32. We could also use the ESP32D, but this implementation requires the 30 pin boards. I went with my favorite 3350 milliamp hour pack. It sports a 2650 lithium battery. Comes complete with the charge controller. I tap in at the base of the large USB for 5 volt and ground. Switched prior to going to the circuit board. I also share the STL for these 12 millimeter threaded sleeves. They add a little bit of a finished trim here. That loop is also very handy for hanging the scope off the hood latch. Completed project. The implementation that I just shared with you allows us to use these ESP32 30 pin boards in conjunction with the HS402 Pro version 2.0 PCBs. There is available a PCB 3.0 which is extended and has an area that would allow us to source all of these components individually and solder them directly on the PCB. Whichever implementation you choose, the ESP32 has to be flashed for this project. I planned a tutorial video for that procedure and we'll catch you guys then.